Hello everybody, welcome back to Crack and Packs MTG. Matt here. Uh, we've already started this. I'm not live in the Facebook group, but I'm also recording this for YouTube. So if you're seeing this now, that's why we've already got the wrapper off. We did the randomization. Uh, we we I already started this just out of habit, but still a sealed box for uh, for what it's worth. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment. That way you get on the giveaways. Well, we're going to be giving away a bundle of Crimson Val every week through December. We're also be giving away a Crimson Val booster box at the end of the month. And if we can hit 14,000 subscribers, we'll give away another booster box. So make sure, like, comment, subscribe. Let's do it. So, uh, so open this thing up. Thank goodness the topper is flat. We've gotten so many of these that were bent out of shape. They fall down in the front of the box. And uh, they're toast. So the way these battles work, if you haven't seen my videos before, you're not part of the Facebook group, which is Cracking Packs MTG. If you want to join, just make sure to answer the questions. Is we have six participants, we divvy up the box equally. Each person in the master's box gets four packs apiece or six people. We add up the mythics and rares, the converted mana cost, and whoever has the highest and lowest converted mana cost at the end of the packs will either get the topper or they'll get, uh, in this particular situation, is going to get a uh, get, get a VIP pack. So that's pretty epic. Shuffled up the packs, getting everything laid out here. In this particular battle, we've got John, Chris Yee, Scrooge, Obi, Chris Foster, and Jimmy, not Timmy, Shim. Almost there. There we go. And we randomized it, so John will be in the caboose. Here lately, the caboose has been absolutely on fire. The caboose is a very coveted slot. Scrooge said if he uh, if he goes to Pound Town again, he's going to be screaming bah humbug. We have Obi. Chris, he said he needs some uh, back from deployment luck. And hopefully this is just one of those epic boxes. Jimmy Jimmy got some good news the other day, so he's wanting to celebrate by opening, uh, opening some packs. Hopefully one, this is one of those epic boxes where everybody gets a little bit of the uh, little bit of the action. And it has me laughing. Uh, I turn into Winnie the Pooh. Or something like that when I laugh. So let's get started. I'm um, gonna adjust this camera ever so slightly. That way both cameras have a pretty decent angle of everything. And Jimmy, not Timmy. You're up to bat. What's up, Brittany? Welcome to the stream slash YouTube video. Everybody is calling Force of Will. Jimmy's gonna start off with a eight mana. Booger Monster. Jimmy, this is your first pack. You showed up just in time, and the first Mythic is a Arkham Dagson. And a Foil Rare. Unfortunately, it's a Phyrexian Revoker. People have been speculating on the Revoker for years. It just never, never, it's never going to get there. So that, but that is a 14 mana pack. Heavy beef for Jimmy. Pack number two. This one kind of uh, kind of fell apart. Let's get into it. And remember, we also have some really nice uncommons in this set. And commons. Expedition map used to be a very expensive uncommon. They downshifted it to common in this set. Sunken ruins. Nice little hit. These filter lands are starting to really, really go up in value. Sculpting steel. Woo! ka -chow, Jimmy. That's a freaking... You got the foil rare... And a foil mythic. This is the scarab god. Um, this guy is really he was like back up to 40 bucks in non-foil, right? So Jimmy. Holy potatoes. And you got the sunken ruins. That way you can uh, filter out that land to be able to cast them. Let's go. Eight mana pack for Jimmy. And Jimmy's been getting in a lot of battles for the past few months. He's all the way in Australia, so I've been saving up all the cards to send to him. He literally has a uh, metric beef ton to be mailed out to him. So I'll probably I'll probably try to get all the stuff out by the end of the week. Finally got him some uh, some of the American hot sauces he was asking for. Jimmy, Thoughtseize, Belfel Strix, doing really well, man. He uh. He's wanting some hot sauces. He sent me some Vegemite. I actually have it handy here. 
I've not tried it yet. I opened it to smell it. It doesn't smell very appetizing. He also sent me some Tim Tams. I've had Tim Tams before. But I've never drank coffee through it, so we're gonna we're gonna attempt a Tim Tam Slam one day live. That is a three for Jimmy. Let's add up his total now. He's at 25. Pretty solid for three packs. We always leave this last one for uh for a little suspense. Most of these battles do come down to the last pack. Sometimes it's the last pack in the last row as well. Chris. Good luck. Chris was uh, was able to hop in this one at the last minute. Pack one. See if there's any beef left for him. Or did Jimmy steal all of it? Well, Ice Crown Scepter is a good hit. This was originally a rare in Mirrodin. A greater good solid card. One of my One of my favorite cards, actually. And a couple foils. So we're going to start Chris off with a six. Two solid cards there. Let me adjust the camera just a little bit more. Pack two for Chris. I think that's a little better for uh, for the viewers in Facebook right now. Thespian stage and a Kimba Ka. There's only three more there. All right, Chris, we're going to need some help, man. We're going to need some help. And pack number three. Let's find another mythic in this one. Let's go, Cremator. There it is. Archangel of Thune. I knew there'd be a mythic. I say mythic, and mythics appear. And that is a nine mana pack. For Chris. Chris with a C is up next. Chris with a K's total is currently 18. So Chris with a C. Let's go. Pack number one for you. Nice little monolith. First rare is Awakening Zone. Skurzdag High Priest. Foil of Braid and a Scavenger. You guys remember when a braid was uncommon in Hour of Devastation worth like three bucks? Those were the days. Pack two for Chris. See if we can get some more of those nice and commons. Nope, we get a dual caster mage and an ion storm. Foil Urzaland, that's a uh, that's a big oof, two red rares. Both three mana, so that's going to total six. All right, Chris. I have my fingers and toes crossed that this pack really produces a nice hit for you. Flooded Grove. That's People are actually sleeping on those filter lands. I don't think they realize how, especially like the Mystic Gate. It's, it spiked severely lately. Uh, Reese the Redeem is a nice little commander. And that is a one mana pack for you. Looks like you're shooting for that low spot. You're after that topper. You're at 12. All right, Scrooge. No Bah Humbugs. No Bah Humbugs. All we want to hear is Sheesh and Kachow. Come on, Scrooge. Obulet, nice and common. A pure Steel Paladin. Okay. People don't realize this card is actually worth quite a bit, too. I think this is like a $12 or $14 card, or it was not long ago. A Blink Moth Nexus is pretty nice. And nothing in the foil slot. So Scrooge is going to start off with a Dose. Pack two. And remember, and remember in Double Masters, all it takes is one pack to completely change your luck. Masterwork for one. Sword of War and Peace. We'll always take a sword. That is our third mythic. Of course, we want that Feast and Famine or Fire and Ice, but uh, a sword is a sword. Let's add four to Scrooge's total there. And number three. So typically these boxes hold anywhere between eight, and I've gotten, or I'd say six, Fatal Bush. 
Explosives, nice hit there. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is the double op buckshot, triple X, explosives, and walking ballista. Holy potatoes. And that's some value too. Uh, engineered explosives have went up in value a lot. Walking ballista's always been solid. Um, but what I was saying is uh, these boxes hold between six and usually eight or 10 mythics. We've had some as high as 12 or 14. But hopefully, hopefully we get a lot out of this one. And Ebenezer's only at six, going for that low spot and that topper. Obi. Obi is a man of culture and expensive taste. Anytime we put up Masters Battle, he always gets in them. So thank you for that, Obi. And this is an early birthday present, he said to himself. So he's hoping it goes well. Uh, he, he's got to send triplets. Starting off with a Mythic, Grand Architect, and a Thopter Foundry. You can go infinite with that card, I think. So that is going to be an 8-mana start for Obi. Fourth Mythic there. This has been a, this has been a solid box, Jimmy. Solid box. We're only about halfway through it, though, so... Can we hit that double mythic pack? I sure hope so. Oh, Obi, Meddling Mage, Tempered Steel, and another Foil Rare. This time it's a Thrag Tusk. This, uh, this guy was originally out of a core set, right? And he pretty much ruled standard back in the day. He was a, he was a, he's a pretty big beat stick, and that's going to be a 10-mana pack there for Obi. And pack number three. Swag to us, baby. Let's go. Core Tapper. Wooded Bastion. We'll take the Filter Lands. What's behind it? Brutaclad. Originally out of a Commander deck. And that is a six mana pack there for Obi. 24 total. He's only one behind the pole position. Jimmy, not Timmy Shim. And John Anthony's over here in the caboose just hanging out, wondering if he's going to get loose. If there's going to be any spicy beef left for him we're about to see. Adaptive Automaton and a Toot Toot. That is not spicy beef. That is the, uh, that's the grade D Taco Bell boil in a bag taco meat kind of beef right there. That is a six. Pack number two. Expedition map there. Path to Exile. Mana Reflection, okay. Mana Reflection's a nice little rare hit. Ten or twelve dollars or so there. O Stone is always a good card. And we got a uh, common and uncommon foil there. So that's going to be a nine. And pack three. That's what you're going to call a place of Thrag Tusk from now on is a herd. I feel like that's appropriate. Third pack here for John. Let's need some help. Woo! Sheesh. There we go. That's a good hit. Avison and Hell of Hope. Triple eight. Eight mana. Eight power. Eight toughness. Why she's so thick. Oh, there's a double mythic pack. Cut chow. Christina called it. Angel and Sword of Fire and Ice, baby. Let's go. It was looking grim there for John for a minute, and then one pack completely turned the tide. Let's see some beef emojis in the chat. That's an 8 plus 3. That makes 11. Big pack, and it puts him in the lead by one. Totals thus far, we got Jimmy, not Timmy Shim, at 25. We got Chris with a K at 18. We got Chris with a C at 12. Scrooge is at six in the basement, eating goldfish. Obi's at 24, and John's at 26. After the triple thick, number eight, Avison showed up. 
All right, last pack. This is for all the marbles. Jimmy, already doing well. Oh, he gets an Atraxa too, an Aristocrat. This box has been, uh, if, we can, if we can manage to get a doubling season or a force of will, um, this box will be top tier. And that's going to be eight more for Jimmy. And if the topper is uh, if the topper's nice, that'll that'll a little icing on the cake. Jimmy's at thirty three with that pack. Chris, I, I told you the caboose has been nuts lately. For about two solid weeks, the caboose has been like, I feel like you could raffle the caboose spot off. People would pay extra to ride in the caboose. All right, Chris with a K. The Hydra is something good behind it. Maze of If. Maze of If is actually a pretty good card. It's uh, originally out of the dark, right? For the longest time, I thought Maze of If was a reserve list, but uh, it's not. So that is a two. Going to get Chris to 20. Chris. Was Maze of If, did they reprint it in uh, Chronicles 2? Or was it just the dark? I feel like it's been printed more than in uh, than Double Masters and the Dark. Chris said he needs a Crypt or a Force. Let's see if we can get there. You're going to get a Shamanic Revelation and a Duplicant. That's neither one of those is those cards you forementioned. That's an 11. I was thinking it might have been an Eternal 2, Ebenezer. Uh, I, I will... Uh, that's what I was kind of thinking too, but I get, I get sidetracked. Is it is it in seventeen? To, obviously, Maze of Ith has been printed in every set ever, so I'm a dummy. Big oof for Chris. Scrooge is up. Lightning Greaves is nice. Salvage Titan, Forge Master. That's gonna make things interesting. That's two big hits for. Uh, Mana-wise for Scrooge, that's going to be an 11. Where's that going to get him? That's going to put him up to 17 total. He's still holding down the low spot. Obi, currently at 24. Jimmy's praying for a Dark Steel Colossus. Or not a Dark Steel, but what is it? A Blight Steel Colossus to not show up. All right, Obi, you're going to add Nauseam. Nice little rare. And a Mirror Meatball. We forgot about the mirror meatball foil. Obulette's pretty nice. Obi, I think that may have pushed you into the lead. So that is a 12. That does, that puts you at 36. Holy smokes. John Anthony, can you pull off a miracle? Braids? Oh my gosh, very last pack. John Anthony pulls it out. Putting him at 38. I told you so many of these battles come down to the last pack of the freaking box. Sheesh. All right, so we got Jimmy at 33. We got Chris at 20. Chris at 23. Scrooge at 17 in the low. Obi was so close with the mere meatball at 36. And John at 38. Let's get to prizing. This one is for Scrooge. I'm telling you, the caboose is the spot. So let's see. This was a good box. Uh, no, no crypt, no force, no doubling season. But the box topper can completely change that. So let's see what Scrooge gets for his toppers. Um, we're gonna go with this one first. It's going to be a council's judgment. Not too crazy. Second topper. Ah, Blood Moon's not bad. I really, really like the artwork on this card, too. And what never ceases to amaze me about Blood Moon 
is this uh, this card as many times as it's been printed, it still holds value. So that's just a testament to uh, to how good Blood Moon actually is. Now, John, with the VIP. Let's open this thing up. These things, these things can, uh, they can really hurt your feelings. And I always thought it was weird they wrapped it in just clear plastic in there. All right, OB City's going to cry if there's a full art crypt. If there's a full art crypt, that would be back-to-back -back full art crypts. Because the last Double Masters box we did had a full art crypt in it as well. Foil. First rare for John will be a Spell Skite. Glimmer Void, not a bad hit. Expedition Map, oh no. Oh no. Is it the Goblin Guide? It is not. It is not the Goblin Guide. It's a Batter Skull. Okay. I just thought it was mythic. Batter skull is not terrible. We'll take it. Make those germ tokens. And of course, you get this whole grip of full art lands here. Congrats, Ebenezer and John. Thank you for joining us. Everybody else, thank you for participating. This one was a lot of fun. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, like I said, please do. Like the video for the algorithm. Leave me a comment for the giveaways. And we will see you next time.